If you're looking for the court wizard, I'm not him. Farangar is the one you want. If you wish to speak with him, you'll find him somewhere in the general direction of boredom. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's this invention called wine that requires my immediate attention. <clears throat> so you just want a wizard. You've still come to the wrong place. Walk outside, make a left, and tell Bjorlum you want to go to Winterhold. I'll be making my own trip to the bottom of a bottle, where I plan on staying for the conceivable future. Really? Are you a wine expert by chance? In my youth, I once thought West Wales wine was the finest drink ever conceived. Imagine my embarrassment when I tasted my first vintage. This is why natives of the Isle look down upon those born on foreign shores. My name is Elduin. I've come to Whiterun for the Skyforge and for Farangar. Hey, you seem to have an obsession with wine, no? I don't see that as a negative. My Nord friends often chide me for neglecting the rich history of Skyrim, as if I was ignorant of it. They say, you know, Elder, there's more to Skyrim than just alto and spiced wine. And I tell them, yes, yes, I know all about your windmills and bards and 12 different words for cold. I only care about the wine. Caves are the best place to find packs of wolves, or bears, sometimes even trolls. Unfortunately, by myself, they provide a bit of a challenge. There used to be three other mages in my faction, a motley bunch to be sure. A Khajiit, a Redguard, a Nord, and myself. Four mages can be a formidable party, especially when their talents complement each other. As a result, I can afford to make mistakes. Mistakes like trading our last healing potion for a flask of wine. Not a problem when the Red Guard was there to restore my wounds. Thankfully, the one talent I do have serves me well. It turns out most feral beasts in Skyrim are susceptible to fire. Why does Skyforge? Yorland allows me to use his magical forge to craft jewellery. I use the enchanting table at Dragon's Reach to raise their value. Then I turn them around and sell them to Farangar. And he always buys them. I've never met a man so obsessed with necklaces. He says their enchantments are valuable. I think he likes to wear them. Huh. Maybe tomorrow I'll enchant him a dress to go along with it. Hey, what happened to your companions? Victim to the squalls of battle, I'm afraid. It matters not if you are a novice or an archmage. All it takes is a single misstep. The Khajiit was first. We all knew it'd be him. Then our numbers were three. Next came the Red Guard, then the Nord, and soon only I remained. Tell me about the Khajiit. The Khajiit, Razan, was what we call a scroll mage. Not an ounce of magical talent, but one who desperately wanted to cast spells. Where he got the scrolls, he never said. I thought he stole them, but he just as easily could have spent his share of the boon. It's not as if I ever saw him at the inn. He probably got them from Jizargo. <laughs> he was a paranoid cat as well, with a nose for things that didn't exist. Always convinced there was a spy lurking around the corner. He should have been wary of his dealer. He purchased a bad batch of flame cloaks that ended up burning him alive. Yep, I think I know where he got the, the flame cloaks, Elderwin. From our good friend Jizargo, who uh, does the same for us later in the college quest line. They have a tendency to explode. Sarasa was brash and bold, and my kind of woman. Too brash for her own good, though. She wanted to trap grand souls instead of common ones. The most plentiful source of grand souls are mammoths. The most common place to find mammoths are giant camps. 
Uh, of course. It was a short-sighted idea. We ended up wasting all our profits on magicka potions, provided we even survived. Sarasa didn't. Giants are quite protective of their big furry cheese factories. <laughs> That's one way to call them. Hi, Sadia. Well, at that point, it was just the two of us. Ralzan wasn't particularly missed, but Sarasa was our healer. Einar was a gallant Nord, if nothing else. We were exploring a cave to the northwest. A large, desolate space rumored to be inhabited by necromancers. We entered the main chamber, which was hollow, save for the long fangs of rock that jutted from the ceiling. It was in the shadow of these fangs that the spiders lived, and from there they descended. We stood back to back as they surrounded us, his hands shrouded in ice, mine cloaked in fire. I wanted to set them aflame, to oblivion with soul traps, a waste of magicka and time, but Einar saw fit to waste both. Yeah, greed slays more mortals than spiders. Indeed. It was his soul trap that set them upon us. At one point, I couldn't distinguish the live ones from the corpses, so I burned them all. We had managed to clear the path to the exit, however, and were just about to escape when a spider the size of the moon dropped from the ceiling. Ugh. At this point, Einar and I were both out of magicka, I and we hate each those. had one stamina potion left. Of course, mine was technically a wine bottle. It was an old vintage from the wineries of the Isle that I was saving until death. Wait, what happened next? Einar asked me if I wanted to trade. He said I wouldn't have much use for it, seeing as I was going to live a long, healthy life. That old romantic. He was sacrificing himself so I might escape. I could never say no to that man. He drank the wine, wiped his lips, and showed me his teeth one last time. They were stained and red, but I've never seen a smile so bright. Then he pulled out his dagger and drew the ugly beast's attention while I ran for the exit. Where is it? Like I said, somewhere northeast of here. It had one of those typical Nord names, like Icewind Gulch or something like that. How big were those crawlers? Big as saber cats, but those aren't the scary ones. It's the little ones that make me cast my flame cloak. The ones that crawl up your robe. Ugh. I hate them. Ugh. Frostbite spiders are... Eh. Fine, fine. It's not every day I meet a mage who can work the forge. I don't really understand it myself. There should be more of me. It seems to me smithing and enchanting are two complementary skills. Yes! I can only assume it has to do with the stigma that comes with being a blacksmith. Oh, yeah, because you don't want to get... You don't... The Nords don't... Uh, currently, the Nords have this thing about magic... They say to wield well, a hammer, elf, you must some be as dull do. as an anvil and Ulfric as strong does. as an ox. As if stupidity were a prerequisite for the craft. <laughs> Although I have heard warriors talk of such things. They say the person who thinks too much on the battlefield lacks focus. In battle, having an empty mind certainly makes you more decisive. But the forge is not something that requires you to act swiftly. But I do like Hi. the notion of intelligence being a weakness. Why is that? There are far too many mages who thumb their noses at common folk Sit as down. if worth was defined by the size of one's skull. Alchemists invented wine, farmers harvest the grapes, and smiths provide the tools. So, to me, each is worth more than all the mages in Winterhold. Hmm. <laughs> Worth is based on how easily someone's replaced. Farmers are worthless. <laughs> I think that's freaking hilarious. You forget how tedious farm labor is. Most of us would sooner dip our heads in the Skyforge before spending the day bent over picking crops. 
As I said before, the things we idolize are not often virtues. If everyone were a bard, the poetic Edda would be filled with verses about starvation. Oh, <laughs> oh that's funny. When it comes to examining wine, I'm still just oh, a that's, novice, that is great. I have picked up the basics. Such as? Well, supposedly the colour can tell you the wine's provenance, as well as the conditions it was developed in, serving as an indicator of how it will taste. Wine tasting is apparently all about discovery, yet I've discovered that I enjoy drinking wine more than I enjoy tasting it. Ha! So let the nobles sniff and swirl their goblets. I prefer to swallow my wine like a common rube. I like how you agree with the things I say. Why aren't there more of you? <laughs> okay. All right then. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Mm hmm? Uh. Yeah? Am I yes. supposed to talk? Mm hmm? Hello there. Hello. Yeah. I get the sense Hello I'm. There. Your skin's as pale as the Hi. snow. Hi. You scared the sunlight or something? Yes. I'm a vampire. What do you ex What do you think? Hi. Hmm. Need something? Now I'm curious. Let's hear it. Shut up. A few seconds for my supper is all I ask. Remember, a good leader is brave but not reckless. Firm but not rigid. My name is Zora Fairchild. Although it was never meant to be ironic, I was once very much a child and Fair very much firm. For a poor so fair, in fact, that the divine saw it fit to punish me with a smart and unviable fate. It's always easier to blame the gods for such things, isn't it? Yeah, sometimes. But it looks like you kissed a troll and it slapped you. Kiss a troll? Did hey, I think you would turn into a lord? Me a or do seconds. you think my tastes are that queer? <laughs> it will require a little imagination on your part. But there was a time when even the trolls would have bent their knees to kiss my hand. As opposed to handling my gifts. My supper is all I ask. Was, a was it a necromancer who marred your face? Who no. Necromancers tend to disapprove of having their specimens damaged. Well, I can I see that. Know. This is the 11th necromancer who's enslaved me. And all 11 have been as delicate as a lord is with his finest purse. It makes me so sad to disappoint him so. I think this last one was quite excited with his find until he brushed back my hair. <sighs> I've seen that look on more than enough men to recognize it. Wait, you can't be serious. Oh, I am. I do enjoy it. Hey, there is never a shortage of wizards who like to use this pass as their lair. Nor a shortage oh, really? of fools who travel through it. What sort of rescuer were you waiting for? Well, handsome, but not cute. Fine, but not mean. Tender, but not soft. A few Strong, but not violent. Caring, but not servile. I could go on and on. Yes, please do. I like you, Zora. Go on. 
Hmm, I want a man who is aggressive, but not impatient. Creative, but not They're obsessed. And most beggar. of all, confident, but not arrogant. <laughs> the best I ever knew was four of those things, but he failed the arrogance test. He didn't just cross the border between confidence and Big arrogance. <laughs> he rode through on a gilded carriage pulled by frantic mammoths. <laughs> okay. Right behind you. Okay. You have someone to go pick up. Foolish. Tired of bread and soup? Right. Had enough of fish and mouth. I'm a bard by trade. Perhaps you've heard of me. Our suffering. And rack of ribs. Yeah. And what of my son? Hmm? What of poor old? Is he nothing? So don't talk to me about suffering. Your son Once chose I've made son enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Holda. You're looking to become a merchant? Before my ma and da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron, who said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. Hey, maybe I can help you. You do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future. Here's your mammoth tusk. Thank you. This should turn that old cat's gaze. <laughs> maybe I'll be able to drunk again. Look at him. He's like, oh. As promised. Let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. <laughs> oh, wow. So that one beggar is just like, Ooh. That is funny. He's drunk. That that he is. He's drunk. About the same as everyone else. They're the cat folk of elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. Way I hear it, elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. You mentioned trading caravans. Yeah, these Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Why not? Reputation, mostly. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. You know how it is. Yeah. Farewell. By the great oh. they made it looks like there's a storm brewing. All crafted by the best blacksmith in Skyrim. Hey, Anders. Tell me. Do you believe in mighty R.K., God of life and death? Yeah. The God of death, I know him well. I'm glad to know that because I need your help. You see, I've lost something precious. What did you lose, Anders? My amulet of R.K. It's the source of my divine powers and also a sacred badge of office. I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises down there. I fear the dead have become restless. Without that amulet, I'm powerless to confront them. Would you be willing to search for it? Yeah, I'll get it. I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. May the blessing of R.K. be upon you. Hey, you too. You really a coin for a poor old beggar? No, you need to sober up. Battleborn, give me your money. I, I don't have any money. You better give me five seconds right now. I'm gonna bloody you. No,
such a good scene. Yes, yes we do, hon. Ugh. I ne I will never get used to that sound. I see you pointing that mace at me. Die, damn you. Is that it? Is that your best? Okay. I spend so much time among the dead, I sometimes forget how much I miss the company of the living. I found your amulet. Oh, thank Arkay. Please, take this gold for your troubles. Thank you. May the blessing of Arkay be upon you. What are you doing? There's nothing in there. How can I help you? What is your role here at the Hall of the Dead? I study corpses. I am, after all, a priestess of Kinnereth. Priestess of Kinnereth? Or are you secretly a necromancer? On the contrary. I'm doing independent research on the nature of death. Why is a priest of Kinner Kinnereth studying death? If we can better understand how an injury or illness kills, we'll be more adept at applying a remedy. Although, given the state of the temple, I can see why you'd mistake a healer for an undertaker. I do find humor to flex the more unsavory aspects of handling bodies. For instance, in East March, there's a priestess of Arcane named Helgerd. She was a lot funnier than me. Smarter, too. She could pinpoint the cause of death by studying the corpse's exterior. She could determine the time by markers of decay. Why'd you leave Windhelm? Two reasons, really. The Temple of Kinnereth and the ample supply of bodies. It allows me to conduct my research while still upholding my duties as a priestess. Of course, the corpses here aren't the only specimens worth study. There's also the men. <laughs> oh, wow. Any interesting news or rumors? An archer in the bannered mare mocked Uthgard's figure. She proceeded to pummel him to death. Sense was not an arrow he had in his quiver. <laughs> Farewell. I like you, Iria. <laughs> 